Greeks. Okay, because the inception of Esau's power, all right, wasn't Rome. It started out there with, with Alexander the so-called Great. Now check it out. They really wanted to get into power way be before that. Okay, that's why you have particular battles happening between King David and the Edomites. That's why you had uh, 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 Haman, okay, uh, during the time of the Media Persian Empire. Okay, he was trying to, you know, transfer the power onto the Edomites. Okay, Haman the Eger guy. All right, I believe uh, I believe the, the, the scripture says pretty much they was they was always trying to get into power, but their power didn't come right up until what? Right up until the because the way they was doing it, they, that's not how the scripture said it was going to be done, man. The scripture says the blessing of this man was the sword, so they was going to come into power by way of what? By way of the sword. That's why you had it to wear Alexander the so-called great. He had it to wear what? He was conquering many nations by way of what? In fact, I'll just quickly read that excerpt in the book of Maccabees. It's the uh, book of Maccabees, uh, first Maccabees 1 and 1. It says, and it happened after that Alexander, the son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Shittim, right, had smitten Darius, the, 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 the king of the Persians and the Medes, that he reigned in his stead, right? And he made many wars and won many strongholds and slew the kings of the earth. So that's how they was going to come into power because going back onto the book of Deuteronomy, the 28th, 7th chapter on the 37th verse, the blessing of Esau was the sword. They wasn't going to have it where they was going to just slip into position of power. They was what? They was, going, they was going to fight their way into power with the sword. That's their blessing. Okay? So here... Uh, 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 it says here the beginning of the. It says the, the the beast was like what was like unto a leopard, which is which is the Greeks, right? And it says and the feet was like unto a bear, because the end all be all of this empire, all right? It starts here. It started with Alexander the so called great, and it's gonna end with the Russians, okay? The the Greeks, okay? Uh, later became the Greco Roman. The, the Greek Empire later became the Ro uh, the Greco Roman Empire, because the Greek Empire after Alexander the reigned split up four ways into his into his four generals. Okay, after his four generals, you had the Romans rise up. Then you had it to where you had the, the, the after the Romans, you had the Holy Roman Empire around about uh, uh, 176. I think I, I can't you know remember the exact dates off the top of my head. A thousand years after that, you had it to where you had the resurgence of the Roman Empire underneath the Borgias out there within uh, 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 Europe. Okay, I believe it was Spain that they was living in. And then beyond that, okay, beyond the time of the, uh, the Borgias, you got it to where we're living in right now. You got the, the, the Treaty of Rome signed up all right you had it to where uh, um all right america was built up britain was built up all of these different places was built up okay but now it's time that what now it's time that 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 that, that, that rome must fall again so continuing here i'm, I'm gonna pick up a piece up there right it's gonna fall by way of what by way of the the, the feet which is a bear all right and then I, i'm just gonna prove to you something i'm gonna put into put into the google the russian russian bear all right, I'm gonna search that out. Okay, and this is um, so I just this is a random one. Okay, this is a random article, but this is this is how the, the Russians view themselves. They call themselves the Russian bear. So it says when the great Russian bear is awakened. That's the title of the article. It says the resurgence of, of Russia has become a major Western preoccupation because. What, you have what was known as the, the Cold War. Now, what stopped the Cold War? Okay, well, pretty much when you go into what's known as geopolitical uh, uh, history, you find out the Cold War really never stopped. Okay, it just quieted down to a, a point where people started ignoring it. But now you're having a resurgence, okay, of the of the uh, of the prominence of the Russian bear. Okay, now this is an important because when we go into the scriptures, the, the Bible here within the book of Revelation, the 13th chapter deals with what is dealing with uh, uh, um, the beginning of Esau being the leopard, which is the Greeks, and the end of Esau being the bear, okay, which is the Russian, okay, the Russian bear, so you can understand. All right, which are all Edomites. But guess what? The scripture talks about how a house divided up against itself was not going to stand. So here it is, you got different factors of the Edomite Empire, but it was going to implode, man, okay, and destroy themselves. But also two other nations were going to be involved in the destruction of, uh, of America, which is Babylon, all right? And the scripture says that all of uh, them uh, peace with thee have deceived thee, and they have brought thee to the border, okay? And, you know, the scripture says what it says, man, okay, that they, 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 was, going, they was going to implode, but also too, during their implosion, they was also going to have the other nations come up against them, man, all right? But the most important thing is that what the book says within the um, uh, second Ezra, the thirteenth chapter, how the Lord, 
was going to come with the fathership and he was going to be involved in that, man. Okay, he was going to be waging war against Esau and all the nations of the earth. And the scripture says that what? He was going to take many crowns, okay? So it says here within the book of Revelation, within, within the book of Revelations, within this article here, it says the resurgence of the Russia has become a major Western preoccupation. And you check out all the American bases within the world right now, okay? There's a lot of American bases around Russia's borders, all right? They even made a meme of it, okay? A, 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 a comical uh, imagery of it, so you can understand where it's dealing with Russia, uh, where it's dealing with Russia, and it says that why is Russia, okay, uh, uh, um, why is Russia put their country around our American bases? Because they're, the whole thing, that the, the whole narrative is that uh, Russia is being aggressive, when the actuality, right, the actuality is that all the American base, look at all the American bases that you have around Russia, eh? Poland, Lithuania, Latvia, okay, all of these countries have got, uh, have got uh, military bases on Russia's borders, man, okay, so it, it continues, it says that what, it says not least because the great bear seems to be uh, rattling bars uh, quite strongly lately from, dis from disputes over uh, missile defense, Polish beef and Lithuanian energy to, uh, to uh, stand us over. Right, uh, trans. I don't know how I, I don't know how to pronounce that. Georgia and Kosovo is a country, and it says and there is no uh, uh, there is now also a demand for Russia for an emergency conference on arms control in in, in, in Europe, which has not which has not stopped right it from testing a ballistic missiles. Right, then there is also the specific EU Russia relationship, which has been allowing many of of uh, allowing many a pundit. And senior officials in the uh, union and uh, member states to reflect on its apparent awfulness. Okay, so I mean, all I was doing to, 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 to show you that is what it says here. It says what? It says the Russian bear. Okay, so the end of this society was dealing with the Russian bear. Now let me get another piece up there. This is going to be in the, in the book of Ezekiel. Okay. This is dealing with, 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 with the prophecy because as much as you will have the, the West, okay, saying it's Russian aggression, okay, and it's the Russians being, a, 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 you know, a, a conducting themselves aggressively against the West, in actuality, it's the opposite of that, okay. So if I put Gog and Magog here, I should get the, uh, the precept that I want. So this is Ezekiel. Um, This is the book of Ezekiel 38 and 1. It says, and, uh, and the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog and, and the land of Magog, the chief prince of Nechek and Tubal, and prophecy against it. Right? And this is the dealing with the land. I wish them Russians moved up into that land because those were ancient uh, uh, Japhetic cities. I believe uh, Gog and Magog were the sons, if I could, even if I could, I could search it out, right? Um, okay, so Meshach, okay, uh, which means what? Drawing out is the son, one of the son of Japheth and the grandson of Noah. So those, these are dealing with Japhetic uh, uh, cities, right? But uh, the Russians moved that up into there. The Edomite Russians moved up, up into that area. Okay, so this is dealing with the land, but really is dealing with the people that moved up into that land. Okay, so continuing here within the third verse, it says, And say, Thus saith the Lord, God power, behold, I am against thee, O God, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal, and I will turn thee back and put hooks within thy jaws. Now, what's that dealing with? That's dealing with what's known as propaganda. Okay, when you go into where you got a propaganda against a particular, particular country, they have to retaliate against that propaganda. Now, you go into where they, they got military bases all around Russia. Well, they was going to be dragged out there into a war because you can't have it to where you just have live, carry on living day-to-day -day lives, all right, and you go all the way down Lithuania, Poland, Latvia, and so forth and so on. You got American bases over there, which is your borders. You can't continue like that. They was going to have to retaliate. That's why the scripture says they, the Lord was going to put hooks within their jaws to drag them into that world, world, world War Three. all right? So it says here, um, the chief priest and Bishak and Tubal, I'll turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws, and I'll bring thee forth and all thine horses and horsemen, and all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even buck, even a great company, 
with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. So when this whole thing pops off, everybody's gonna bring an ICBM onto the table, man. That's why it was known as the, the Lake of Fire, the Great Lake of Fire, and many people uh, 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 misinterpret that, that as what? As being, uh, um, as being this, uh, this, this uh, 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 Hades, man. Okay, which that's Greek mythology. The, the, the Lake of Fire was what? The ICBM nuclear missiles being let loose on the earth, of which all of these major countries now, India's got a new. Okay, uh, 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 I think Pakistan's got one now. Uh, they've been they've been they've been harassing Iran not to get one, but I'm pretty sure they was gonna obtain one one way or the other, man. If they haven't already done that, and then of course the the major players, the big ballers, Russia or America, okay, uh, 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 China, they all are uh, nuclear capable nations, of which probably just America's uh, 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 nukes, okay, will probably wipe off uh, a significant portion of the Earth's life, man. Okay, so this that lake of fire is gonna be coming out here. They're gonna, they're gonna be waging World War Three, but guess what? A lot of people gonna be dying, right? Because the scripture talks about how the sin, the wages of sin is death, right? And a lot of people been committing all kind of sin, man. Adultery, idolatry, forn, uh, you know, fornication. Okay, all kind of iniquity, man. Hey, uh, speaking against the men of the Lord. Okay, and that's why the scripture says that what that, that we was gonna laugh when your terror cometh, when your terror cometh as a whirlwind. The men of the Lord was death. Uh, what does the scripture say? Therefore, will I mock when your terror comes? When your terror comes as uh, as a storm, uh, a, a whirlwind. I forget the exact wording, man. But that's that's what's coming, man. Okay, so it says there, uh, and I'll turn thee back. I'll put hooks into thy jaws. I'll bring thee forth with all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armor, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Everybody's gonna have a, uh, have swords, man. Okay, the modern day swords. All right, continuing, it says Persia, Ethiopia. Right, Persia is the Iranians. The Ethiopians going to have some of them Hermetic countries that are going to be joined with them. All right, and Libya with them. All of them handling, uh, all of them handling swords and helmets. Okay, Goma, all of his bands. Togomor, North Quarters, and all of his bands. And many people, right, uh, with thee. Uh, be thou prepared uh, for thyself and all of thy company. Uh, that are assembled unto thee and be thou a god unto them. And that's what Russia's been like right now. Okay, they've been a god unto these our little nations and protected them, okay, from uh, from being basically for, from America running up into there and taking taking their taking what's theirs. Now going back here within the book of Revelations um, 13 and uh, 2 it says Revelation 13 and 2 it says, and the beast which that which I saw was like a leopard. Which we expl I explained that, okay, because the the, the the beginning of this Edomite Empire, okay, the beginning of the rulership of Esau was the Greeks, all right, and it was going to end with the Russian bear, which we just read about within the book of um, Revelations, the 38th chapter, and it says, and his mouth was like a lion, because that's Britain, okay, the the lion likeness of of that is Britain, and when you go into the um, have I got any notes here? Maybe you can see it somewhere here, but one of the great symbols of Britain, okay, is the lion, okay? One of the one of the one of the major symbols that East that, that Britain uses is is the lion. When you look on there, um, um, oh yeah, I know what it, I, I know where I can find it. I will Google search and I will show you. Okay, when you go into the British uh, British government, one of their symbols is the is, is 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 that of a lion. Now here is the place where the the Rothschilds. This is basically their their thing, and, and the Rothschilds is pretty much the head of this whole, the, the head of uh, uh, the, the Edomite family, if you will. Okay. Let me put here um, HM uh, revenues and customs, and when the image comes up. No, that's not the one. I just put Britain. Okay, here we go. That's sweet. That's beautiful. So I put here. Here I put the British government, and you can see what. You can see one of the symbols there. Is 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 is, is that of a lion? Okay. So, 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 like, uh, like I was saying, the mouth. He says the mouth was like, like that of a lion, right? The beginning was the, the, the beginning, which was the leopard. The leopard is swift, man. How did how how he, how uh, uh, Alexander took over with that sword? He, he took over. He swept swept them them nations clean, right? It, it was the inception was the, the Greeks, 
Okay, the end of them is gonna be the Russian bear and the mouthpiece, which is the mouth of a lion. Okay, by way of the Rothschilds, which basically set the set the tone. They look, this is what you're gonna do. Okay, they write it out. Look, boom, that's your orders. Okay, that's how the, the thing get played out within the earth. That's the that's that that mouth, which is Britain, man. Okay, so it says here the mouth was like of a, a lion. And, uh, and the dragon gave power, his power and set him and his seat and great authority. And I saw one of his head, heads as it was wounded to death. And that's dealing with what? That's dealing with the Greco-Roman uh, Empire, which is really the Romans, right around about, you know, post 70 AD. You had it to wait, was it said post 70 AD? I forget now. But pretty much you have what was, it, yeah, it must have been after 70 AD, okay? But you pretty much you had it to wait, uh, 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 you had the, um, Jakes that was left there that amalgamated into what into the Roman uh, uh, yeah so that must have been right because a lot of them Jakes a lot of the, during the time of um, uh, uh, 70 AD uh, and the Titus I believe a lot of those people that was within the army the Roman army were actually Jakes but in them generals would have what they would have got higher positions and higher positions so you had it to where you had what was known as the Holy Roman Empire all right which was Israelites that was amalgamated but these are wicked ass dudes man. Okay, they had amalgamated into the Roman Empire, okay, and they set up what? The whole, the so-called Holy Roman Empire, and they started ruling, man, for a period of a thousand years. So Esau, okay, the Edomites, went into a period of obscurity for a thousand years, man. There was a non-factor within the earth, okay? There was a persona non grata within the, within, within, within the earth for a period of a thousand years. That's why the scripture says that, what? It was a deadly wound, okay? Because there was, there was no people. Right, it says, uh, and I saw one of the heads as it was uh, wounded to death, and his and his deadly wound was healed, and all the world wandered after the beast. Because after the was the, the 1600s, they came out with what was known as the Industrial Revolution. The revolution, okay, they started going in, man. Okay, they brought out the iPhone, they brought out cars. Okay, here it is. You had horses and grass all over the place. This man created a, 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 a vehicle, like you could step into this vehicle and drive for uh, drive for days on end, man. Okay. Here it is, you gotta rest up a horse. Here it is, you gotta have two drivers. Check it out, back in the day, you had horses, you had to rest up the horses, stay over somewhere overnight. But here, you could, you're could you traveling somewhere, there's two of you in the car, you could carry on driving just by switching drivers, man. Okay? You Here it is, you gotta, the, the technology, I mean, you know how much technology that goes into making a, just a transmission, man, the, the gearbox. Okay, let alone the engine, okay, the, the lights, the whole uh, light circuitry that goes into a car. And that's simplistic in comparison to what Esau already puts up so-called space shuttles out there, all right? Or uh, 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 GPS location system, all right, electricity. Now, those are going to be simple things in terms of our understanding when we get into the kingdom. But right now, those are, that's like a marvel, man, okay? There's a hell of a lot of technology that goes into what? That goes into having a signal goes getting transmitted from a, 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 an aerial somewhere and there's a picture that turns up on the screen. That's like a miracle, man. Okay, here it is, there's some microwave beam frying your brain out there in, uh, in, 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 in wherever, okay? And you look on your iPhone and there's a picture there. <laughs> How did that picture get there? All right? That, that's why the scripture says that what everybody was everybody marveled when Esau came into in, into his being because this time they was going in all right the scripture says that what thou art wiser than Daniel so when they came back up as the, uh, as, as the British right as the uh, uh, Spanish okay on all of these modern days names and let's let's not forget the Americans right they was going in so it says here um and everybody wanted after the beast so because with that technology with the industrial revolution okay or uh, uh, the technology that they, they came up with okay the, the, everybody was looking at america as the gold standard of how to uh, how to set up an empire that's why you had the chinese for the longest their whole skies was filled with smoke because they copied they mimicked the same industrial revolution that they had out here we had out here within the west and had the same thing out there within within the east that's why the skies was filled, filled up with smoke because of all of those factories that they was having, they was working, okay, they was burning coal, which is the same thing that they had out here, okay? So basically all of the factories that was out here within the so-called West was moved out there into, into, in, into places like China, all right? And, and, and that's how they start, started conducting their business. Now I named that example for what reason? I named that example to show you that, that this world marveled after Esau, okay, after America, after Britain, okay, and copied all their ways of doing things, okay, their so-called economic system, the so-called uh, uh, technologies that they had. They all copied it, they all got it from Esau. 
Right, and it says, and they worship the, uh, and they worship the dragon, which gave power unto the beast, and they worshipped the beast, which, uh, and saying, who is likened unto the beast? Because when you check out Esau, his empire, and his history, man, you, you really got to put it into perspective, man. Because the, when the Persians were ruling, they didn't come up with no, with no iPhone, okay, smartwatch, or any of all of these different things that Esau has brought out, okay. You, you're talking about the, 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 the amount of uh, uh, science and the amount of time that goes that went into creating the ICBM nuclear missile. The, the, the Babylonians didn't come up with that, man. So really, these people are underneath the spell of Esau. But guess what? There's going to be a greater power that's going to come within the earth. And that greater power is going to... There is a thing called spiritual power, man. Okay? Because the Lord, what he's going to come with, he's going to speak things into existence, man. Like how you had like how you had this guy, Thanos, he had all... You know all the all the stones, and he was able to just think things and pick a finger, and whatever he wanted was gonna pop off. That's the same uh, spiritual power that the Lord Yahweh Shai is gonna come with, and uh, also too that he's gonna impart unto his men. Okay, to the end of what the, the so-called technologies that Esau is gonna is, is got is got it's gonna be nothing, but the world is gonna what they're gonna bow down. At the, at, the, uh, at the feet of the Israelites and I did a video yesterday going into what it what does it mean to be blessed which I got that inspiration from the teachers the elders okay which explain what it means to be blessed which is to have people bow down to so people bowing down to who they're bowing down to Esau via his technology right now and how he's going into countries and different countries within the world okay and 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 and, and, and rule them with oppression the scripture talks about within the book of Isaiah the 14th chapter about how if the oppressor ceased okay uh, he who really ruled the nations with a continual stroke okay right and, and 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 we're gonna rule the nations but we're gonna rule them for a period of a thousand years under hardcore slavery but beyond that they're gonna bow down before our feet but we're not gonna have to oppress them because it's gonna be a righteous society man okay but that's after they've served their their, their punishments so here continuing here this is our uh, revelations 13 and uh 4 it says